A viral YouTube short has made the bold claim that one of the hostages in GTA 5's prologue can be seen nine years later as a manager of the Union Depository during the subtle big score heist. The evidence that the creator puts forth is that they look similar, differences being attributed to the nine year time skip, and that the manager seems to hesitate when looking at Trevor's license before letting the crew progress. This hesitation suggests to believers that he recognized Trevor's face from nine years ago, but said nothing out of fear of getting killed. So immediately, the observance among you would say that this makes no sense, as Trevor wore a mask during the prologue heist which obscured his identity. While he did eventually take it off, If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die breathing right! You wanna look at the face of death? Be my guest! This was outside, away from the hostage, and even the low quality cameras, which are maybe not even relevant as their footage was meant to be deleted, but this was cut, likely due to slowing the pace of the mission. Hey! Hey, we gotta torch the servers, come on! Yeah, I got it! However, you could counter that due to the trauma of the event, the hostage would be more motivated than most to remember what Trevor looked like once the failed Ludendorff heist and subsequent events was reported on in the media. Yet I think we can infer that Trevor's face wasn't revealed to the public. Not only was the crew very careful to maintain their anonymity prior to the Ludendorff heist by using aliases, wearing masks, and being always on the move, Michael always was a bit of a pussy. We'd do a job, and he'd want to leave town right away. We could never make friends or contacts anywhere. But even after the failed heist, it isn't clear that their status really changed. Trevor walking around a populated city throughout the game without being recognized is evidence of this, but also, neither Michael or Trevor showed any concern going near TV cameras during the mission Fame or Shame. That they were willing to show their faces at all during the big score heist, even if it was to be their last, again affirms their lack of concern about being recognized. Michael and Trevor's multi-million dollar 10-year crime spree is not one that would be easy to forget. It was so significant, in fact, that Dave supposed stopping of it was front page news. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. It just seems that the deeds of a faceless crew were infamous, but not what they look like. Given the prior caution, there may not have been any easily accessible pictures of Trevor to show in the media, and his escape and being on the run meant no more could be taken. GTA Online also gives us more evidence that his face isn't easily identifiable as a part of a past infamous heist crew. Four months prior to the start of single player, when Trevor is set up by the Drug Enforcement Agency, they did not appear to recognize him as a murderer and bank robber from ages past. They would simply have arrested him for all his past obvious crimes, instead of attempting to get him to admit to selling cocaine, as if he was just another dealer from Blaine County. Ultimately, we have little reason to believe this hostage learned what Trevor looked like during or after the heist. I saw one person remark that maybe he recognized Trevor's voice, but this doesn't make sense because Trevor had yet to speak, meaning there was nothing for the manager to recognize. Recognize. Tearing down these characters' supposed resemblance is fairly easy, as they only look slightly similar at best, and their character models in the files of the game bend no association, and further show how truly generic they are. The hostage is actually just one of several entities called Prologue Host Male, and can even be given the name Bob or Tim, as he is so insignificant. The bank manager is just called Bank Manager, and again shows no association with any of the Prologue Host Males. Rockstar is also not above reusing the same character models for clearly different characters. During the jewel store heist, a parking attendant tries to have Franklin move his bike and is thrown to the ground by Michael. It turns out that one of the corrupt FIB agents helping Dave and Steve relocate Mr. K at the end of Three's company uses the same character model. Rockstar could literally have put the hostage from Prologue directly into the big score heist and this still wouldn't necessarily mean they are meant to be the same person. But what about the manager's paws? The best explanation for this is that the picture of Trevor is an old one, oddly wearing his clothing from Prologue, so he looks slightly different today, and thus warranted additional scrutiny. Access is good. I could be beating a dead horse here, but for this short's claim to be true, we'd also have to ignore everything else the manager does for the remainder of the heist. How's things? I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. <laughs> And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your mind, staring at more money than you know what to do with. He would have had so many opportunities to flag to others that something was amiss if he recognized Trevor, but he did not do so. Now you could argue that he simply didn't do so because he was scared, but you could only make this claim if you'd never actually played the heist. So, you know what to do. Uh-huh. Gentlemen, there is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> hey, that's good stuff. Got many jobs after this? No, 
It's the last one. The manager engages in small talk, jokes around, and seems completely at ease, which makes little sense if he unexpectedly recognized the wanted murderer a few minutes ago. Lastly, while I don't claim to be a doctor, I don't think nine years can change the blue eyes of the hostage to the brown eyes of the manager. Bottom line, for endless reasons, it doesn't make sense for these two characters to be the same. Honestly, it just seems like something like a million people forgot that Trevor wore a mask during prologue. But I guess the game is nine years old at this point, so I'll give them a pass as long as they like my videos and stop liking shorts like this.